Aries people. Hi, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jade. This is Star Moon and Sun Tarot. Aries, I apologize. I have been gone a minute. My energy has been completely nowhere to be found. I had to do some personal cleansing and salt all my cards, so I do apologize. I just, if my energy is not there, the reading is just, I just feel like I can't, you know? Much better now. It seems to come and go, you know? Anyway, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, we're going to look at mid-August. Okay, what's happening from mid to late August? For my Aries people, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please make sure you're checking your other placements. And please make sure to take what resonates, leave what does not, okay? My guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, please come in and assist me with these messages. Please guide and protect me, as well as my Aries people. From any hostilities, negative energies, entities. Not that one, okay. What for my Aries? Can I have one, please, for the next two weeks or so for when my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus see this? What's going on in love? Love for my Aries for August. Ooh, fourth chakra. Archangel Raphael. And we have a woman holding a heart on the bottom. So we have heart chakra opening here. I'm already seeing like two different energies with this. And this is 38, which reduces to an 11. And this is a 44. This woman holding a heart on the bottom. Very interesting. All right. Let's look at this a little bit further. We absolutely see that there's some type of heart situation going on. Opening a heart, offering a heart. Letting someone into your heart a little bit. Show me for Aries, please. What is this about the heart for August for love for the next two weeks? Thank you. Three of coins. Okay. So this is working together with somebody. Queen of Cups is on the bottom. Okay. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces person does not have to be. This is offering love, emotional fulfillment here. And these two birds, they're doing this together, right? Three of Pentacles is definitely um, working together. What else, please? Oh, and the sun. Love this. This is this Leo season. This is warmth, happiness, success, vitality, right? This is things coming into clarity. Wow. And the Wheel of Fortune. This is success and happiness. And temperance is on the bottom. So we're also seeing Leo, Sagittarius energy here. Patience and balance. Causing this wheel to turn. I feel like this is very, very good. Good, good energy. Because the wheel can be, you know, negative karma. It can be good karma. It can be success. Wow. So, let's show me more about this cooperation. Who is this Aries is cooperating with? It's going to be different for all of you. So, wow, the hermit. So, it could be Virgo. Um, for some of you, but this also is solitude, so there is a little bit of distance between these birds. So there's been some type of Ending here with the Ten of Swords. 
show me more about the sun. So someone was maybe impatient and it caused an ending here. They maybe were um, Queen of Coins in the reverse here. Maybe a bit shallow or possessive. Yeah, Seven of Swords. There was some type of Seven of Swords energy here. Some type of betrayal. Um, but this is leading to some type of freedom here. Um, and not having to be tied down. The Hierophant reversed. Um, this nonconformity, right? Being unconventional. And it's coming up on the sun here. So this could be a newfound freedom. And going forward into a, a six of coins, giving and receiving better type of energy here. Queen of cups, three of cups. So someone here is very empathic, intuitive, psychic, and loving. All right, so this, this could be, you know, getting out with friends, socializing. Show me about the wheel. Wow, King of Cups. No drama. Someone who is kind-hearted, diplomatic, artistic. There's been some type of a test of faith here with the Nine of Wands. In this deck, anyway. It's courage, grit, determination. And the world. There's some type of negativity you work past here, Aries, and it's kind of like leveling up. You're, because of whatever's happened, you learn some valuable lesson, you're moving forward, and it's bringing in this, this match. It might take a little bit here, because it's coming up on the wheel. Is this, wow, four of wands, celebrating union, community support, homecoming, wedding, Wedding party celebration. Lover returns. It also says on this card. And you've got some type of decisiveness here as well. Somebody is real clear about this. It's coming up on the Union and the King of Cups. Emotional mastery. Right? Someone who's really balanced. Wow. Wow. There was, you know, these, this, this conflict, but you have moved forward with this things improving here. Positive changes. Making a plan and following your heart. Wow. And this is the woman holding the heart. And the woman holding the coin. And behind her is the deceit. So... You've overcome some type of um, something here, but you've moved, you know, past it. And this is showing me that this is leveling up. Some type of, and this is imbalance here. And then we have the, the temperance on the bottom. Wow, and the empress behind that. And the ace of cups and judgment, Queen of Pentacles. That was Temperance, Empress, Ace of Cups, Judgment, Queen of Pentacles. This is what I mean, you're getting this, a judgment. Someone is going to see you as this perfect match, this wife material or husband material here. 
it could be somebody from your past, but it also could be somebody fairly new. Wow. if I want to use that deck. Let's see. Ah, uh, here we go. This one. this person for Aries, please. This perfect match. Okay, we have Capricorn coming out, which is also the devil. It doesn't have to be the devil devil, right? This could just be a Capricorn person. King of Earth. King of Earth is someone who's very solid, balanced, dependable, Wow, perhaps someone that there was some type of standoff with or whatever, you've had this victory over it or this victory over some type of toxic energy. Yeah, wisdom, wisdom with the crone here. You know this. Um, it's an experience and yeah, something is illuminated here. when you are examining it. There's some type of communication that needs to happen here. Um, things are still developing. But this balanced communicate, this balance, just right, equality, right? It came out right on the, this uh, magician, which I'm seeing as some type of communication. There was maybe some type of misunderstanding with love here, but there is this precise, yep, the lovers. There is this precise um, crystallization of things happening. Could be um, a Gemini, Libra, could be an air sign involved, doesn't have to be, you could have air in your chart. We also have I Sagittarius, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and um, yeah, I see Taurus again with the Empress and Libra again with the Empress. But it's the lovers and justice. It's it's definitely some type of choice and balance. Wow. And Cancer with the chariot. That's right. We did see um, King and Queen of Water, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So again, this is moving forward. Interesting. I'm seeing like a couple different, maybe dating a couple different people, but I feel like if you have found out that one is, didn't really want to do things in a way that you agreed with, you're going to figure that out at, you know, um, and that's going to really help narrow down any confusion or thoughts or problems. Otherwise, this is just a choice balancing out. This also could be somebody that just has a lot of air and also water in their chart. And these are like different aspects of them. All right, let me see what else. This was like it again. Advice. What is 
the advice for Aries people. Advice for Aries people, please. Thank you. Wow. The Sun, Two of Cups. Ten of Cups on the bottom. Be open, be loving. Um, the Magician, this can happen. You can make this happen. This can absolutely work. There's possibly something that you've had to let go of, right? Um, that maybe you've had to learn with this Page of Swords. Um, but you can let that go. There's all this healing energy coming in with the sun and this other two of cups. Yeah, knight of cups and the chariot. Wow. Looking really, really good. This also could indicate um, healing and a new love after walking away from somebody who was manipulative. You know, it's going to be different for every Aries, okay? Remember, this is a collective read. Put yourself wherever you fit. Um, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, okay? So thank you so much for watching, Aries. Um, please like, sh share, comment, and subscribe uh, for more. And I hope to see you guys next time. All right, much love to you all. Bye.